Chopper kinda groovy punch sipping. Usually up whipping for the stereo, stereo. Hey guys, it's Haley here, and today I'm gonna be filming a huge collective fall try on haul. I went shopping at Urban Outfitters, Topshop, Zara, PacSun, Forever 21, and I picked up some really cute clothes to add to my fall slash winter closet. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. So I'm going to be starting off with Topshop, which has been one of my favorite places to shop at recently. And I've been really digging the new velvet trend. So I picked up two velvet items. The first item is this cropped velvet sweater. And I think it's like crushed velvet material because there's like different tones of velvet. It almost looks like metallic velvet. And I really like how it knots down right here in the bottom and it has like a slight turtleneck. The second thing I got was this velvet sweater. And I thought it was black when I bought it, but I came home and it turned out to be navy. But I'm fine with that. The main reason I bought this was because it was so comfy when I tried it on at the store It's really baggy like in the arms and in the stomach area and then it tightens in the ends So it gives like this really cute oversized effect which I really like and then the other two items I got were more toward the leather trend So this one is a leather jacket with a fur collar obviously both faux and I'm in love with this red collar It's more of like a maroon red and I think the contrast between this color and leather is like amazing And then I got a pair of of booties they have buckles going all the way down and then studs and they're like really edgy every time I wear them I get compliments on them and they make a really cute clicking noise when I walk so I really like wearing them <laughs> I really wanted a pair of edgy booties so that's why I decided to go with these so next up I'm gonna be moving on to Urban Outfitters so the first thing I got at Urban Outfitters was this flannel and it's really soft I actually got this from the men's section and it has like these white blotches going all around the flannel which adds like a bleached effect that I really really like and I really love flannel Flannels, and I've never had a flannel like in this pattern so I decided to purchase this and then I got another bomber It's not like I already have 67 bombers, but this one's really interesting It's like all orange inside and it's the softest material ever And it also has an orange hood and I don't have any bombers with hoods again every time I wear it I get so many compliments on it The hood is actually removable if you want to remove it and then I got a really classic item from Urban Outfitters I got the Calvin Klein cropped sweatshirt and it's also sleeveless so I guess it's like a vest I don't know it's really casual really comfy and really cute the next store I'm gonna be showing items from is PacSun I've been really liking PacSun recently they've been really branching out with the different brands that they sell so I think that's really nice of them they should definitely keep that up the first thing I got was again another classic item it's the Adidas black cropped hoodie with their logo I like to wear this when I don't feel like dressing up with like leggings and sneakers and Perfect. And then recently they had a buy one get one 50% off denim deal online so I took advantage of that and got two pairs of jeans. The first pair is from the Kendall and Kylie collection. So they look like normal distressed like boyfriend jeans but the ends are like extra distressed which is what I really like about them. They look really cute. And then the second pair of jeans I got were these like blue denim jeans but they're like really mom jeans and they're high waisted and I didn't have high waisted mom jeans. I don't have that many jeans in general so whenever I see some cute ones on sale I definitely like to purchase some and then I got a pair of the high top classic vans and let me tell you this I did not know vans were so difficult to wear like it literally takes me six years to put on vans like it's so difficult for me to fit my foot through this next up I think I'm gonna move on to Zara so from Zara I bought another pair of jeans and these are gray jeans and they're really edgy and I've been really into like edging my look up lately edging my look up <laughs> Okay, so they look like this. They have really big large holes right where your knees are supposed to be at They're kind of like loose on me, but I like it like that because it adds like an oversized nice fitting vibe to your outfit so Yeah, I got another pair of shoes and I just realized I already showed you guys three pairs of shoes in this haul Am I a shoe colic? I don't know so there are these velvet booties and they're so cute. Like, they're so cute. Like, I'm gonna wear them today. They're really comfy to walk in. It's not like too big of a heel. So it's uh, ideal for a perfect date night or even for going to school. <laughs> I bought them because I feel like they'll go with a lot of outfits and make any outfit look cuter. So if you haven't caught up with my idea here, I just like to buy cute items to make not cute outfits cute. And then I got a backpack and this is a maroon color quilted backpack with chain detailing and leather straps that fashion language though And it also has like zippers on the sides which have like more extra room 
for you. So I'm gonna be moving on to Forever 21 and I don't shop there as much, but I did go there like last weekend and picked out some cute clothes. And let's be real here, I kind of like DIY'd them, so that's why they're cute now. So I got this band tee and it says Bob Seger. I love him so much follow him on Spotify. It was like a really ugly big band tee and what I did was I cropped it, I distressed it, so now it's like really trendy, really vintage, so cute. Mm -hmm. And then I got this sweater from the men's section. All these clothes are from the men's section because I like to dress like a boy. And then I got this white sweater and has the American flag because I'm so American, you guys know me, I'm not foreign at all. And this was also like a really oversized sweater but I just chop that cut it cut it cut it okay and then in the back it has this black huge square filled with the names of a bunch of different countries go there so you should walk behind me if you want to catch up on your geography and then i got another flannel it's not like i already have 85 flannels but this one i like because again it's oversized and then i don't have a red and black flannel and this one also comes with a hood so i like flannels that you can also wear as like a jacket so like to keep warm because it's the fall time it's getting colder here in california also it adds to my emo collection the next thing is not actually from a store i mean it's technically a store but like it was really crazy like a friend came through and gave me the password for the Kanye West pop-up shop online pablosupplyshop.com thing. So I pay $60 for a Gildan t-shirt because I live in a materialistic society. Okay, uh, anyways, what was I saying? Why does it look blue on camera? It's more like a turquoise green aquamarine color. And then it says Miami right here and then in the back it says I feel like Pablo. It's basically the colors of the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins? I'm probably embarrassing myself. Miami Heat? Not Miami Heat, Miami Dolphins. Okay. I'm going Black Friday shopping tomorrow. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like hauls, let me know because your girl goes shopping like a lot because Love you guys so much all the way to Pluto and back. A bye. A bye. A bye. Bye. Usually up whipping for the stereo. Stereo. Chapter 10. Watch them go bananas. When they see them with, they be like.